Within minutes, three officers lay dead at the hands of the Liberation Army. David Gilbert and Judith Clark, both weathermen and by then members of the May 19th Communist Organization, refused to acknowledge the state during the legal proceedings. Judith Clark has served 35 years of a 75-year-to-life sentence for her role in the $1.6 million robbery that left two police officers and a Brink security guard dead. The governor has now betrayed all of us and perverted the scales of justice. I'll be speaking with the parole board, and uh, of course my message would be I feel she should stay. When the governor of your own state calls the woman who murdered your family member impressive. It's like pulling the scab off a wound that never really healed. Shame on you, Andrew Cuomo. That day is by far the worst day of my entire life. I, I think the governor has, has totally forgotten about the three men that were killed that day. Very simply, in my view, the release of Judith Clark would be an affront to all law-abiding citizens. In committing her crimes, Judith Clark demonstrated a blatant disregard for the rule of law and an incompatibility with the welfare of society that is so far beyond the pale that any consideration for release would so deprecate the seriousness of her crime. Her parole would also minimize the lives of the law enforcement officers who dedicated their lives to protecting our communities.